What's up guys, in this video we're going to be looking at some FIFA 20 player ratings prediction and we're going to be taking a look at Chelsea FC. Now the way I'm going to do it is going to, I'm going to show you their season stats and then we're going to look at how the rating will evolve based off of this. So we're, you're going to see what the first player and then it's going to make sense for the rest of the video. So we're going to start off with Ethan Mpadu last season, uh, well last, last season 2017-18 that gave him the FIFA 19 card. And these stats are all in the Premier League, right? So he just played one game and had nothing else and got 63 rated. And the season that just passed, he played nothing in the Premier League. So I think a minus two. Next player, Andreas Christensen. So as you can see, last season with 27 games, he had nothing but probably played pretty well and deserved an 82 rating in FIFA 19. Now this season, he just played eight games and nothing so again similar kind of a similar situation played a lot less games yeah so we're gonna deserve a downgrade even if it's injuries ea likes to lower the overall of injured players and stuff like that so yeah i'll give him minus two based off of these stats also uh, don't hesitate to comment down below what you think next for antonio rudiger last season in 27 games two goals one assist and this season he played a lot more games and got one goal and zero assists now this i gave him a plus one i think a plus one is good because not only it shows consistency it also shows that he is more desired in the team i think a plus one is is pretty fair uh next player is Callum hudson odi last season he was he didn't play in the premier league uh, it was like the youth league like the premier league 2 or something like that he had great stats for the 10 games that he played six goals one assist and um yeah for, but for this season he played 10 games in the premier league and only had one assist now the reason why i put him at the same rating is because because the premier league is a different level than the league he was previously so i don't think he should deserve a downgrade because there's nothing really to compare him off his, his first premier league season i think that's fair for uh hudson odi moving on to aspilicueta last season he had in 37 games he pretty much played almost all the games in the season two goals six assists that gave him an 86 overall in fifa 19 now for fifa 20 for the season he had 38 go uh, in 38 games one goal six assists so one less goal contribution than last season but honestly like for a defender or right back and stuff these are very good stats in terms of consistency now for david luis last season that got him an 83 rated was because he played 10 games and had one goal and no assist now for the season that just passed he played a lot more games 36 three goals two assists really got involved in the game i really believe that deserves an upgrade if not a plus two maybe but i i definitely think he will get an upgrade moving on david zapacosta in the previous season he played 22 games one goal one assist that gave him the 79 rating for fifa 19. moving on to this season only four games and nothing no contributions out of four games so i think a minus three but I definitely don't think he will get an upgrade or stay the same. Maybe a minus one, two. Uh, but damn, I don't know why I put minus three. Probably, um, I don't know what I was thinking. But uh, yeah, definitely a downgrade. Like maybe one minus one or minus two. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Moving on to Eden Hazard. Now, looking at the stats of last year uh, for his FIFA 19 rating, he played a total of 34 games. 12 goals, 4 assists, right? That gave him 91 rated. Now, if you look at this season that just passed, he played 37 games, pretty much all the games of the season, and had 4 more goals and 11 more assists. This is really, like, a big improvement in the season. So, he was the top assist, and, like, he was up there in the most uh, goals in the season as well. So, definitely deserves an upgrade. I upgraded plus 1 and really upgraded his passing a lot and his shooting as well uh so for fifa 20 i can definitely expect hazard to get a 92 now i'm gonna move on quicker for these players because like uh we already seen the most uh one of the most important players so we're gonna move on a lot quicker now for emerson i kept him the same he just he played more games than last season so but didn't do any goal contributions as opposed to last season so i kept him the same because it's kind of balanced itself out so moving on to gary cahill definitely downgrade him all played pretty much nothing this season compared to last that gave him 81 overall so a minus two and uh, he's getting up there with age and i've seen a lot of uh, 
Chelsea fans not being really uh, happy with his performances and stuff so, so yeah so yeah so minus two downgrade for Gary Cahill uh, for Gonzalo Higuain he's back on his loan from Chelsea so he's gonna go back to AC Milan uh, last season 35 games uh, 16 goals and stuff gave him 88 this season that one assist from this season was in the Serie A it wasn't on the Premier League and it was pretty much half and half uh, for the stats in the Serie A and Premier League um, yeah downgrade for Higuain in FIFA 20 uh, he will play in AC Milan but he was a Chelsea player uh, this season so Jorginho or Jorginho, I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly. Um, I downgrade him because last season stats for Napoli, he did a six, six goal contribution in 33 games. This season, no assists at all, only two goals, the same amount of goals, but he played more games. So, and he's a CM, so you probably expect some assists from him. Probably should have downgraded his passing as well. He had less uh, assists, uh, but yeah, downgrade for Jorginho, yeah, for FIFA 20. Next player is Kepa Arizabalaga. When he was at La Liga in 30 match, he uh, conceded 43 goals, 7 clean sheets. That gave him an 83 or 82 rating in FIFA 19. And then in the season, he had an upgrade to an 84. But then once the season ended, he played a total of 36 matches and he conceded less goals and had double the clean sheet. So all the stats or the important stats for a goalkeeper, he got better at. It. So I'll expect an upgrade for Kepa. Marcos Alonso, I kept in the same rating. He had one less goal contribution than last season, but he did play two less games. So I kept in the same rating. Uh, it shows consistency. So he played pretty well this season. And so yeah, 82 overall as same as last season. 4 feet 20 for Marcos Alonso. Next player, he, um, I should put the Real Madrid badge, he's gonna go back to Real Madrid, but it's Mateo Kovacic. He played 11 more matches than last season and had the same amount of assists, two assists. Uh, I don't think that warrants an upgrade at all. Moving on to N'Golo Kante. I upgraded him from plus two because, let me explain. I know like people say, why plus two, that he's overrated and all that kind of stuff. Look, last season, he got an 89 rated because he played 34 games, one goal, one assist, right? And and the season that just finished, he played two more games and got four times more goals, four times more assists as a CDM. So these stats have more weight, more value because he's a CDM. If he was a striker, probably not an upgrade at all. You know what I mean? But as a CDM, that these are very good stats. Um, he showed that he is way better stats than his 89 rated version so i would expect an upgrade for engalo kante and fifa 20. moving on olive Giroud downgrade i'm moving on quicker now so i'll put a downgrade more games less goals than last season downgrade for Giroud. pedro i give him an upgrade twice more goals in the same amount of games so i upgrade from one and upgrade his shooting quite a bit as well uh ross barkley again way more goals and uh, a lot more play time very uh, much more impact for Chelsea plus three for Ross Barkley Ruben lost his cheek same thing more goals and same amount of games and uh, quite a bit of assist as well uh, upgrade his shooting as well quite significantly William I kept him the same rating because he had pretty much very consistent stats for a winger you know you don't really expect him to be banging in those goals all the time uh, for a winger so kept him the same rating for consistency reasons. Next, Willy Caballero kept him the same, uh, pretty much a super sub goalkeeper or whatever like that, kept him the same rating. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments which other teams you would like to see next for ratings predictions. It will be the same uh, format or if you have any other suggestion of how to make uh, a better format or things like that, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, so yeah, and also remember you can check out uh, the Instagram page and follow me on Twitter. Everything will be linked down in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you on the next video.